sister Samantha, and she had a place out on Highway 80, mm -hmm. and uh, I, you know, I work in the sign business, but another sign company did her sign, and he misspelled something. It said physic reader instead of psychic reader. So one day, it's called Smart Advertising, uh, and I, I don't usually answer the phone, but that day I answered the phone uh, in my business voice. Uh, Smart Advertising, they help me. And this little bitty voice on the other end of the line says, uh, uh, this is uh, Sister Samantha. And as soon as she said it, I knew why she was calling. And I go, I go, well, hey, Sister Samantha. I said, what can I do for you? She's kind of him hauled around in the conversation. She goes, well, I have a sign out front. She goes, you didn't do that sign, did you? And I go, nah, but you knew that already. <laughs> That's just, good. It took me a second to get it. <clears throat> okay, now go ahead and hear it. So, so well, you know, it's hard for me to interview you because I think I know too much about you, but um, one of the things I really like about you, Dennis, is, is that you you continue to pursue your art. Yeah. And I've seen you really evolve a lot. What, what's inside of you that makes you do this? Uh, uh, first of all, you know, the God-given talent. Uh, and then uh, perseverance, just, yeah. you know, just... Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, you know, despite... Is it, is it that you really don't have a choice? You have to? I don't really know at this point if I would know how to not do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've done it for so long, you know, and now I'm doing it. And here I've got uh, clay, steel, painting, photography, poetry, and variety within each one of those. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would know how to function without being creative. And whether that's making things or just the way I organize my tools, my food, or anything else in my life, uh, that's just my creative mind. So now it's just automatic. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what I would do. I don't know how to not do it. So you all also cover, many, as you said, many styles and, and continue to evolve. What, what would you say best represents what right now that you're thinking about when you're making art? What do you, what your style or what are your, what are your influences? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I like patterns. I, you know, um, patterns and people and what they do, like. In advertising, the how people look at things, how people see things, patterns in the design. You know, um, I love the sharpie. I use a lot. Of, I use a lot of this cross hatching pattern, which certainly is nothing new. Uh, it's in a lot of my pieces. Uh, I think my uh, being in art and advertising for so many years I think you can see the influence of the advertising in my visual and probably can see some of the influence of my art in my advertising is is there one you would want to go stand by and talk about I see what I want you to talk about oh I, I get what I meant this because I saw I saw this when it was still clay in, in, um, over in Erin's workshop before she fired it. Yeah. I was over there doing a video for her, you know, she was trying to win a pottery wheel uh, thing. Well, where this, where this came from, are you ready? Are you, are you, are you fine? Okay. Uh, uh, Susan Spears with the museum and Curtis Graham and myself, uh, we jury a show at the Longview Museum of Fine Arts and it was a student art show uh, the Longview uh, uh, area high school student art show and this one kid made a little gas can, a little red gas can with a nozzle and it was called the Crunk Can. And so, uh, I now have the piece now, but he, at first he wanted a little too much money for it. And I said, well, I'll just make that myself. And then uh, one day, and I had done the Cato pieces, one day I, was, I did these uh, Cato Crunk Cans, and I've, got, I've done about 
four or five of them. And I think it's the only one I have left. But it's just this, like an oil can picture, I don't know, with a cat overleaf on it. That's how that came about. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, apparently other people do if you only have one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Diane Solomon has one. Uh, Claudia Lowry has one. Uh, I, actually, I think I have two. Uh, the other one I have, uh, the finish didn't come out well. I could refire it. I might refire it. Some point. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity of Marshall CBB Convention Business Bureau uh, doing this for um, not for doing not, not doing it for me, but allowing me to do something here for the community. It's really is neat to all our artists get highlighted. Yeah, they've done a good job. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, talk about the art community in Marshall, Texas. It's pretty unique and, well, maybe not so unique, but it, it's thriving. It's thriving. Uh, Marshall has some great artists. Um, and I think that'll continue to get better uh, as the community grows. It's come a long way since I've been here, you know. Yeah. And, and they all seem to work together very well and appreciate each other's work a lot. Yeah, they do. Uh, I do and interact with the art community here and in Shreveport and Longview. I'm from Shreveport and Longview has presented a lot of opportunities, so covering about a uh, hundred mile stretch. Yeah. Uh, Highway 80, Interstate 20. Uh, yeah, Marshall's got, for the size town it is, to have a first class museum and a visual arts center next door to each other on a major downtown corridor. Most other towns would die to have that. I've said that publicly to the Chris Patty when he was the mayor. Uh, we talked to Bo about it. Uh, these, are, uh, these are aces that uh, Marshall's uh, holding. Uh, and it's a game that is played with tourism. So uh, arts, uh, between the visual arts or the performing arts, whether that's the music, all the musicians are doing a great job. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's a good mix. And, and good for Marshall, everything that these folks are doing. It sure makes it a lot more fun for a lot of us to live here. That's for sure. <laughs> I enjoy, you know, I enjoy being one of the artists, whatever that's all about. <laughs>